Hey everybody, Adam Hill Vending in this video. Excited to announce, uh, put together a document starter pack for a new vendor, experienced vendor. It's the exact documents that we use at Hill Vending to grow our business for sales, for marketing, for all that. So what I want to do is hop into it and show you what we have put together. The link will be down below if you want to check that out. Let me pull this up right here. So hillvending.teachable.com is the website. Obviously, we have our full course. All these documents and more are included in the full course, but um, a lot of people just beginning, not really sure uh, what to do, who to talk to, all that stuff. So put it all together, put it all together right here. You can use the exact blueprint plug and play, but let's go over what's inside for that $27 monthly income calculator, how you can know what money you're going to generate with your vending business, the 50, 30, 20 sales breakdown, where it's a formula, you can plug in numbers and see, okay, if I did 10,000 in sales, how, how are the numbers going to break down? Um, promotional worksheet. If you're going to a potential account, what promotions can you run to try and get them to, to sign up for your service? Um, some stuff in there, sales objection worksheet, nine times out of 10, you're going to hear, no, you're going to hear, we're happy. What to say, um, what to say when they say that. So what they, what to say when you hear an objection or when you, um, don't know how to overcome an objection when you're in the field at a new potential account. Tracking worksheet, uh, a worksheet to keep track of your of your leads. Pre-made, you can plug in your information. One-page service agreement. You can use the service agreements or not use service agreements, but if they ask for one, it's a one-page simple contract. You just plug in your company's name, them, the machines, all that. You just print it out and bring it with you. Sales proposal, a full proposal, the three a three-page proposal that details everything that your vending service will provide. All this all this information is completely edible, edible to edible. <laughs> no, you can't eat it, guys. It is. You can edit it. You can download it, save it. It's not um, anything that you can't change. So you can put your own information in there. Uh, this is huge. The location buying checklist, 16 questions. Uh, I think there's over 16 questions that if you're going to buy an existing route or a location from someone, what you want to ask on the phone before you even meet up with them, that's all included. And then if you're buying or selling an account, location, machines, a sales agreement that has all the pertinent information that you want to get um, on paper so that you can cover all that. So yeah, you'd sign up for this. You go in here, you can download all these, have access to them. And then obviously if you need the full course, it's all included in there as well. But wanted to make a, a, a kind of an affordable document starter pack because I think a lot of people get hung up on the beginning stages of that. So uh, check that out, hillvending.teachable.com if you are interested. Looks like we had a question here. I noticed you stock both Pepsi and Coke, but they are like the same drinks. How do you decide which machines get which? You do, you would put in um, what people want in the machine. So some machines we put Coke and Pepsi both. Some machines we put Coke, Mountain Dew, water, orange. You, you, just, you will cater it to the account. You'll see what's selling, what's selling at the location. If it's um, if Pepsi's not selling, then you can put in Dr. Pepper, you can put in orange root beer, you can put in an, another item. Basically, that's how you decide whichever is. Now, if you have a 10 selection machine, some of them are going to be low volume. You know, Coke, Diet Coke, Mountain Dew are going to be your kind of top sellers. Everything's not going to blow out of the machine. Um, but yeah, we do have machines that have Pepsi and Coke both in them. So you just monitor the sales. If the if that column is not selling then you can let it run down and put another uh, item in there. Um, so that's what I would do with that. Tommy Cash in the building. Hopefully the snow has gone away. It is heating up down here in Champa Bay, Florida, getting ready for the season here. Um, so let's see, that's what we got there. So yeah, so if you guys need that, the document starter pack all put together, pre-made, pre-done, you can put your information in. And it clarifies um, clarifies come some of the some of the documents that are out there. What do I need? What do I don't? What don't I need? It's all right there. You can uh, you can grab that. 
killvending.teachable.com. We do have the ebook, all that stuff. Got a lot of people jumping in, buying the ebook, getting in the course. Just spoke to a gentleman today in North Carolina, has 16 machines, bought 16 machines, eight location route. Talked to him on the phone about wondering how to set it up, the, uh, you know, how to be efficient, how to manage your route. A lot of good information in there. How come there aren't more sugar-free selections? Do they not just sell uh, water? You can sell water, sugar-free energy drinks. You can sell teas. The thing, that's a kind of a healthy vending question. Healthy vending is the biggest scam perpetrated perpetrated on the vending industry. Um, healthy vending machines, all that. Guys, a vending machine, you don't need a healthy vending machine brand to put healthy items in. Countless, countless times we have put healthy items in machines. I say this, uh, you might have heard me say it before. If people bought banana water, if you put banana water in a can and people wanted it, we would put it in the machine. The vending machine is just the medium between you and the customer, right? The customer wants Coke or Pepsi or Dr. Pepper. So we don't force feed um, Fiji water or whatever down their throat. Now, in the snack machine, you can put healthy items, granola bars, the, what you'll find. What you'll find a lot of the time is that they don't sell. They're a little bit organic or, or healthier items are more expensive, so you have to charge a little bit more. And at the end of the day, that column stays uh, full and the Snicker bars and the M&M peanuts are gone. Just is what it is. If it, So um, that's what, if you want to try healthy vending, try a few items, try it out. Um, if they have a special request, you can try that out. But m most of the time you'll have an issue there with... Um, with the healthy, but if it if they buy it, then great. I mean, you can keep stocking it, but you don't need a special machine, and you don't need some gimmicky healthy vending um, for that. Joshua Morgan in the house, awesome. Heading over to buy the pack right now. Any thoughts between one ounce chips and two ounce chips? One ounce seem to be a lot easier to source. Thank you for selling them for. Yes. Yeah, so any thoughts? One ounce and two ounce. Yeah, we sell both here, size chips. Um, some people only like to do the small bags. Some people like to do the big bags only. Um, if you canteen the big, big dog, they only sell the big bags. Um, so th the, the thought process is on the big bags and the small bags, you have more variety of different flavors, especially with all the uh, product shortages going on right now. Can't get ruffles in. It's better than it has been, but 50 count chips at Sam's Club have seemed to be gone gone away and they're just doing these multi-packs um but there's more items that you can vend if you have a big bags and a small bag uh tray so i go over all that in the program but the, your snack machine you can set up the top row for big bags and then small bags and you know the prices are going up on the prices are going up on your uh you know bags of chips your small bags used to be 25 cents a bag now i think they're 30 um, 30 cents a bag. So small bags, you want to try to get at least 75 cents big bags. Now they're creeping into the 50, 60 cent territory. You used to be able to get away with a dollar. You might have to jack those up to a dollar 25, but w this is, everything's testing. Everything's testing. When you're at a specific location, you would try out Pepsi, try out Coke, see if they move, try out big bags, try out small bags, see what moves. Maybe they only want Cheez-Its and famous cookies in there and you don't even put any small bags in. So it's all just testing and, and trying it out. That's really what it comes down to because every account can be different, have a different appetite. So uh, never understood why Royal Pepsi machines have 12 buttons and only nine columns. Customers don't believe me when I tell them only nine flavors. I meant to say Pepsi Dixie Narco machines. Um yeah, the double columns. Yeah, I don't know about that one. What, what brand that one is. Joshua Morgan, big bags only seem to be available in variety packs around here. Now, a nice thing about Sam's Club, if you have one in your area, what what we've had to do is we can't really keep up. I have Ruffles, uh, sour cream and cheddar, which is a, a fan favorite, shipped to uh, my house. Shipped to my house, so the FedEx guy... I mean, if I wanted to blow out FedEx, I just order a hundred of them and then their entire delivery would come to my house, but then I have to transfer them back and they box them up. Seems like a big waste, 
What Sam's Club should do is allow you to order online and pick up in the store, but they they don't let you do that. So I have to have them delivered to my house, which is seems very strange. Why they wouldn't just ship them to the Sam's Club, wrap them, and then I can pick them up from there. Anyway. Your thoughts on micro markets. I believe vending machines can do 90% of the things that micro markets can do. I think micro markets are a uh, good in certain locations, but I think vending machines, you can put vending machines, a bank of vending machines out that can do everything a micro market can. If you need a micro market, uh, say the number of employees is 400 or something. Normally they, in my experience, have gone to a cafe, like an attended cafe, kind of micro market um, setup. There's all issues with micro markets, right? You're just putting the product out there. People can steal. You got to worry about uh, ringing up the product. You got to stock a lot more SKUs, right? So when you get into micro markets, then that means it's free range on product. They want bananas. You want apples. You want all these different things. There's enough, a 45 selection snack machine, 10 drink. You're doing 50, 60 selections. And now you're going to put a micro market in there and keep track of all of these different, uh, you know, gourmet, um, ready-made meals, all these sandwiches, all this stuff. And I believe that uh, vending can do a lot of those things. So not 100% opposed to micro markets. We just have found that uh, vending machines are a uh, reliable way to, to, to get your products sold. So if they wanted then we would go and put in a, uh, a market and then we have it attended, have an attended market with someone in there with the fresh food and, and all that kind of stuff. Tyler in the building, does your Walmart vending machine perform better than your others? No, that Walmart vending machine that has only water in it um, is actually just a every couple week account. I have to look up the numbers to see uh, what it is. But the nice thing about water Nice thing about water and why, if possible, you should have it in every machine is because it costs 25 cents. You can sell it for a dollar twenty-five. A dollar markup there can be your best markup. Um, don't have to worry about expiration dates. Um, so water, if possible, in most of your machines. But if you need a full breakdown of what to put in your machines, all that stuff is in the hillvending.com forward slash course. Also coming with um, access to ask questions, the private Facebook group, ongoing support. So there's things that can come up and you need some guidance. So that's why we put that together. But yeah, check out that document starter pack. If you have questions, you can go through and see what's all included. Appreciate everyone hopping on this Monday, but remember until next time, keep your drinks cold and your snacks fresh.